Uh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Mario Kart. It's the last run of the event, or of the day, my bad. Not the last run of the event. We got a few more days after this. It's going to be really, really exciting. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Hello, I'm Amber. With me, I have three lovely co-commentators. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I've been running Mario Kart since it was on the Wii U 2015, 2016. It was not very good back then, but switched over to 200cc with the Switch version, and I've got a good show for you tonight. Uh, my, I will let my co-commentators introduce themselves. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Fabi, my pronouns are she, her. Uh, I am a... I typically run 200cc nitros, uh, but I've also been running Wave 1 a lot recently of the DLC. I've been playing this game on and off since about 2017, uh, so I have a lot of experience. Hi, um, my name is Riley, or it's Riley PM. Uh, I am a former time trialer and uh, current 150cc uh, bonus tracks runner. I've been running the game for about eight months, and I've gotten decent enough at it. Uh, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to this because uh, I've finally gotten to see the DLC stuff. It's going to be real cool, guys. Hi, I'm Star Smiley. I go by she, her. I've been running the game on and off since about 2018. I don't really run too much, but I mostly made in 30 and 150 CC for 32 tracks and 48 tracks. All right, uh, we're going to get into the details of the run during the run itself. Uh, the important thing to know uh, right away at the very start is I'm going to be holding down R. Uh, this is going to manipulate what season Animal Crossing is later in the run, and we'll talk about that when we get to it, obviously. Uh, the bonus tracks are these four cups here. The, they are DLC from Wii U, but they are baked into the game uh, for Switch. And we're going to be starting on go in three, two, one, go. All right. Uh, yeah. So this is bonus tracks. Um, my favorite category personally. Uh, we're starting off with a very difficult track. This is Yoshi Circuit from the GameCube. Um, I'm going to try to get a, an overview of all of the tech that we're going to be doing, the stuff that you're going to be seeing during the run. Uh, so, there are three different types of drifts. There are mini turbos, there are super mini turbos, and there are ultra mini turbos. And my controller has a low battery, and I immediately made a mistake. Lovely. Uh, that's nerves for you, folks. Um, so, there's a couple different types of drifts that we're going to be doing as well. The main ones are going to be delay drifting or slide drifting, and then soft drifting, which is the one that you've probably heard of before. Wow, lovely. I never play this poorly right away. Wow, incredible. I'm better at this track than it looks, I promise. Um, so, uh, if you see, I am going to be starting a lot of these drifts with a hop without turning my cart, and then turning my cart once I start to land. Um, that is a delay drift or a slide drift. You see my cart slide at the, um, and a little tuft of smoke comes out. That is a little bit faster than just doing a normal drift. Uh, that slide preserves a little bit of momentum, starts the drift a little early, helps build to the first tier of drifting. Uh, drifting in this game is uh, like filling an invisible meter. Um, we fill it either at two units per frame or five units per frame. And soft drifting is the range of angles that charges it faster. Um, it's like up left or up right to hard left or hard right, uh, but like not quite exactly diagonal. It's a, it's a range. It's not just a specific soft drifting angle every... Um, you can soft drift at a range of angles and that lets us charge, excuse me, that lets us charge our drifts at the fastest speed while not necessarily turning at the sharpest angle. Um, it's going to be incredibly powerful throughout the run just to build faster drifts. Um, and that was Yoshi Circuit, it's already over. 200cc is incredibly fast, there are no items, so those aren't going to be slowing us down because items are bad. Um, so here's Excite Bike Arena. This is the main source of RNG for the run. There are 240 different patterns for this track, and we got a very bad one. Incredible. Um, so the, uh, the track is organized in five different chunks, and there are five different types of ramps that can appear in any order and we got a pretty bad pattern and then a pretty good pattern that I didn't read correctly. That's on me. Um, and then a coin flip at the end where we lost the coin flip because that mud patch was 
early instead of late. If it was late, we could kind of hop, hop over it. Getting that left, right, left into the five ramps here, or sorry, right, left, right, into the five ramps is a bit slow because we can't do a specific bit of drifting tech in a straight line, I know, but just trust me. Um, but getting this tiered ramp into this platform ramp is very fast because we get to just land on that extended platform. Generally, I'm not going to be doing a lot of these sorts of tricks. I'm going to avoid them if I can because traveling in an arc is a lot slower than traveling in a straight line, even if you get a boost at the end of your arc. Airspeed and ground speed are pretty similar in this game. That's not really the point. The point is more that we're traveling in 3D space, and so moving like this is a lot worse than just moving in a straight line. Um, and that's Excite Bike Arena. This was a really bad pattern, um, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, after this, we have Dragon Driftway. So I ran this category as part of our relay race for Summer Games Done Quick 2020 online. And there is a skip right at the beginning of this track that I totally messed up. So hopefully I get it right this time. Um, I'm going to need to focus just a little bit. Coins are incredibly important here as they increase your top speed. Um, we'll talk about coins a little bit more in just a second, but I'm going to get these three and then this one here, and then I'm going to try to get these two and release a mini turbo in midair. I got one of them. That's okay. And I did land it. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. I was really, Let's really, go. really worried about that. Amber's um, gaming. And this is also the first ultra mini turbo of the run. We're going to just charge one right here with a nice soft drift. Um, that's not necessarily going at the fastest or the sharpest turn because we need to get more coins. Um, but we did get the UMT as quickly as possible. Um, ultra mini turbo. I'm going to be using acronyms a lot. Here we have that skip again, except I kind of like hit the edge and it was a little awkward, but it's fine. Um, Fabi, do you want to talk about why coins are fast? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, so important thing to know about coins, uh, when you collect them for the first time, you get like a very, very small boost. It saves like less than a frame, but there are some very, very specific edge cases, but that very tiny boost does make a little bit of a difference. Uh, but the most important thing you need to know about coins is that whenever you collect a coin, your top speed is increased a little bit. So if you want a reference for that, typically a single coin will increase your top speed by about a quarter of a bar. Um, and by a quarter of a bar, I mean the bars that you see for speed when you look at the, the stats um, during page where you're like, yeah, cha yeah, when you're like choosing your cards. So what we want to do is we want to take advantage of the speed boost that we get because we're, when we get 10 coins, our top speed is increased by about 6.6%. So what we'll be seeing in a lot of these runs is on lap one, we're gonna try to get 10 coins as quickly as possible. And because the speed boost that we get from having 10 coins saves so much time, we're going to take some lines that you will see are a little bit unoptimized because we want to get those coins as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So for Mute City here, uh, this track has reduced gravity. Uh, it is an F-Zero track. There are three of them in this run, not two. Uh, we'll explain that later. Uh, and I'm going to be getting eight coins in lap one and then two coins in lap two. Um, so this trick is called Touchless, where I don't touch that ramp and then I just kind of drift off. This is possible because F-Zero tracks have reduced gravity. Um, we also have anti-grav on the entire time. <coughs> anti-grav speed and ground speed are technically different stats, but similar to air speed, it's pretty much the same. Um, there are certain combinations that can build for anti-grav versus other things, but uh, for the most part, they're basically the same type of speed. Um, the main thing is that if I run into a computer with anti-grav, um, I will get a speed boost instead of like slowing down. Uh, so this track is all about flow, is the way that I like to put it, because that touchless skip that you've seen me do um, is not really just one drift and a hop. It's more like three drifts and a hop, and then some more stuff. So this drift right here is kind of where it all starts. I have to break drift a little bit, which we will explain a little bit more later, and then chain a few more drifts into that jump. Um, and that skip saves a fair amount of time. Um, if somebody can tell me what my finish line time was there, uh, well, actually, no, wait, don't bother, because uh, the Yoshi Circuit and Excite Bike were pretty bad. This isn't going to be a terribly competitive time, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, brake drifting is another technique that's crucial for 200cc, where you are drifting and accelerating and also tapping on the brake, um, and that helps us keep our drift while also turning a little bit tighter. 
I did not get a full speed boost there. Uh, I didn't press A at quite the right time. The, the correct timing is when the second light on Lakitu shows up, um, and you start holding A at that point. Uh, I was a little slow. Uh, that's probably the biggest other source of RNG for this run, is uh, the second place computer bumping into you at the very, very start if you don't get a full boost. Um, this track has a couple of interesting bits of tech on it. Um, I'm going to be doing a counter hop into the trick for one section, as well as a counter hop there. These are for alignment and for a little bit of a speed boost. And then I'm also doing neutral drifts on a couple of sections where I'm not actually touching the analog stick at all because that's slightly faster than moving the analog stick, um, specifically these last two drifts that I just did, and that's the counter hop trick. Um, for this last lap and a half, we have some good time for donations. Perfect. A lot of love coming in. A lot of people wanting to see those DLC tracks. We've got Absolutely. $77 from Non-Binary Code saying, Good evening, gamers. Must get the DLC tracks because Amber, because Horns, because Blaha, because... Ah! GL Amber. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Also, I have $10 from the Comfy Panda saying, had to donate for Amber and to help get closer to the Mario Kart 8 DLC. Amber is an amazing MK8 streamer. Super excited for this run. And just an update on that chat, we have less than $4,000 to go to get that. Ooh. So keep those coming in. Every donation counts. So close. Absolutely. Yeah, that was fast. Thank you. Um, so next up we have SNES Rainbow Road. This is actually one of my better tracks. I have, I believe, fourth place without mushrooms. We have a separate leaderboard for no items, time trials. Fabi, do you want to explain track cycles for a second? Yes. So uh, on SNES Rainbow Road and on a bunch of other tracks, uh, these rainbow swamps uh, that are going to hurt you no matter which way they hit you, um, they stomp down on the ground and make the floor wiggle a little bit, which we can trick off of, which is really fun. But it all happens at very specific times, and those times happen at the same time every time you load the track. So an experienced run, you know, an experienced runner like Amber is going to know the exact time at which each one of these swamps is going to hit the ground. Um, and the optimal cycle for this track is fairly difficult. If we make even a single mistake on this track, doesn't matter oh, how, how minor it is, yeah. we're going to hit that cycle. Skipping the swamp that, is going to slam down. Really tough. Yeah. It's a really, really difficult cycle to make. Um, so we have to play the track really, really well in order to avoid that form. And now that I've slowed um, down, I am kind of in improv sight reading mode for this last lap, but that's OK. Uh, we actually are on a pretty good part of the cycle, where it's a little bit safer, can take that right path. Um, so yeah, I that's the cycle was fairly thing. nice. Hmm. When the thwomps come down, sometimes you use a boost and sometimes you don't. Is there any specific tell that you use when deciding to do that? Um, so I'm only doing those. I'm only doing the tricks off of those sections um, on straightaways where the boost isn't going to mess up the following drift. Um, but keeping my lines as tight as possible, getting um, as close to the inside of turns, is really really crucial. So sometimes it's faster for me to start a drift instead of doing the trick because the boost afterwards is going to be tough. Here's Ice Ice Outpost. This skip is wild. Uh, so we're going to be going for that all three times, and there's a chance that I'll bump off of the iceberg behind it, and that'll actually give us even more of a speed boost, but it's very difficult. Um, you're going to also notice that other than that shortcut, I don't go for any of the other ones, and the reason why is because they are slower. Um, I don't know for certain on 150cc because I just I don't play 150. I'm pretty sure some of these are a little faster for 150, but on 200cc, this is the only one that's fast. Um, yeah, uh, this track is very, very tight. It also has a low glider where I am um, pressing R after the glider here, which will cause my glider to open a little faster and cancel any upward momentum I have so that I can start another drift right away. It's faster than doing a trick. Um, last lap here is good for some more donations. Awesome, awesome. We've got $100 from Hep Girl Bryce simply saying sunglasses. Hell yeah. Oops. <laughs> nice. I also have $20 from It's Riley PM saying shout, special shout outs to Amber and Fabby for being the reason I'm still running this amazing game. I love running MK8 DX, and it is a perfect game for someone wanting to start running. Much love to the GDQ, 
and Frame Fatales, and let's get those DLC tracks. Yes, Speaking it's of worth which mentioning. We, yes. yes, we're almost I, at fifty-six thousand dollars. Oh wow, so that was fast. We're really um, close. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. This round of bonus tracks is about halfway done now. Um, so this is Hyrule Circuit. This track is difficult. Um, it has one of the harder skips in the game. Uh, there are rupees instead of coins, which have a nice little sound effect, but they are functionally identical. There's a shortcut that is slower, and there's a no-item unintended shortcut uh, that is faster. So I'm going to be doing one here. This is also another counter hop trick, which will give me a little speed boost to set me up for this, which I hit the tree, but it's fine. Um, that was decent. That was decent. That skip is really tough, and something like that might have looked a little on the slow side, but honestly, it's still pretty good. Um, this is one of those tracks where uh, you end up losing a little bit more time to your golds than other tracks because of how difficult that skip is. Um, I do kind of, of want to focus for the rest of this, so probably some more donations until this track is over. Yeah, we've got $104 from Zibogo saying, Hey Amber, I met you because of a GDQ MK8 run two years ago, and since then I've been so grateful to have you as one of my closest friends. Stay fast. Shout out to Roy, Koopa, and Fabi. And let's see some DLC. Thank you so much, Zeb. We got $25 from Fencing. Good evening, gamers. Let's get that DLC waves, uh, waves run. Good luck, Amber. And Good speaking evening, of which, gamers. We have jumped up to 56,462. Oh my goodness. Chat, we're getting let's so go. close, chat. We gotta keep on coming, though. There's not much time. We're about halfway through, as Amber said. And yep. we really need to see more Mario Kart 8. Amber is an incredible runner, as y'all can see. So we need to see more. Yep. Um, so next up, we have Baby Park. If you get motion sick, but you're okay with watching the, this run, I would say just keep an eye on this one, because we're going to be driving in a circle for about 45 seconds. Um, there are 14 skips here, and there's not really much to say about this track. So honestly, we can probably read donations for that full amount of time. Um, but just to mention it, I'm holding these drifts over the off-road because of the lip right here where I can kind of jump over. But yeah, donations right now is good. Perfect. We got $500 from Air Hadoken saying, After seeing Amber glide through these first few courses, it would be inconceivable to not get those DLC courses in as well. I couldn't agree more on that one. Also, I have $25 from Nick O saying, I want to see if it's still faster to drive through the train tunnel in Calamari Desert 25 years and six Mario Karts later. Let's well, get that treat. DLC run. Yes. Let's see. Uh, just an update. We are at 56,567. It just jumped up again as oh I was reading goodness. that. Keep those Come coming in, chat. chat. There are so many of you watching right now. Again, if we all could donate just $5 even, we'll be able to hit that bonus incentive. All right. Uh, Next up is Cheeseland. This is a pretty difficult track. Uh, Riley, could you explain glider vectors? Because vectors are a little bit more prominent in 150cc, if I remember right. Absolutely. Um, so for glider vectors, uh, there's a lot of different ways to uh, find small improvements here. So what Amber is going to do is going to come up to a blue uh, ramp and is going to uh, build up a mini turbo as she's going off of it. Once she's built up the mini turbo, it will go off and she'll use a diagonal, she'll pull back and uh, to the right to keep herself uh, like on the track ready for the next uh, turn. For whatever reason, your speed is capped going horizontally and vertically. It is not capped going diagonally. So the mini turbo is a bigger boost than just tricking off the ramp. And when you're pulling back, you're actually going faster than you would if you were just going straight. So it's a huge uh, time game. It's worth mentioning that we don't actually even get a mini turbo on that vector, but it's still a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, there is going to be another vector in the DLC tracks if we can get it. Um, that is a little bit more traditional. And unfortunately, I am kind of making a fool of myself on this track. I've made a few mistakes. Uh, it's all right, though. It happens. You know, no run is yeah. perfect. And we can read donations is... for the rest of this. Yeah. yeah I just want to real quick mention that the Contra uh, incentive was met, and we just opened another incentive for Last Guardian to activate a pet cam during the run. So, chat, not only can you get in your donations to get those DLC tracks in, but you can also activate a pet cam in tomorrow's Last Guardian run. So, 
get those in. That's more incentives, more pets, more runs. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, here we have Wildwoods. This is probably one of this is one of two places that I want to call serious time for. Uh, this is my favorite track in the game, but it is also a really, really hard track. The skip at the end of this track barely saves any time, but I am going to be going for it all three laps. Um, last thing I'm going to say, the music is in 5-4 and it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, this is a bit of serious time I need to focus because this track is very tough. I love that glider cut. Okay, or barrel cut, my bad. <laughs> Do a slide drift there. And then trick, trick, trick. Counter hop, trick. Jump. Okay, so I hit the off-road there. That's okay. It's a little bit faster still than doing uh, the normal path. Um, obviously, we don't want to hit that off-road whatsoever. Um, but yeah, two more laps of that. I don't know if you can hear my breathing or not, but I am <laughs> breathing a little bit heavy because this track is so difficult. All right, and because those ramps aren't here, we're just going to go in a straight line. That was so good. Okay. Good. Excellent. Where that guy is. Okay, and okay. Oh, two out of three is great. Two out of three is great. Oh my god. That that game really is good. good. Oh my gosh. Really I'm so good. stressed. Okay, so uh, you remember we held down R at the start for Animal Crossing? Well, here's Animal Crossing. We're doing summer season. L is uh, spring, R is summer, ZL is autumn, and ZR is winter. Winter is the slowest. You lose about seven seconds from having to drive on ice. Um, and then summer is the fastest because of the ramps on the beach. Spring is a bit slow because of the ramps in this section, but obviously we don't have them. And fall is the second fastest, but also the most consistent because this trick right here is also a little on the tough side of things. Um, getting an SMT and starting a drift and not hitting the off-road, but I did get it and I got these coins. Uh, and then this shortcut is wild. Uh, I actually got it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's really important <laughs> so that I amazing. keep my drift onto the off or onto the road again. That off-road section is probably about as long as you can possibly stay on an off-road while having it still save any amount of time. Um, that skip is probably the newest thing that I'm doing doing in this category, and it saves a lot if you can actually get it. And unfortunately, that's un I'm going a little slow and I don't trust myself, so I'm just going to play it safe here and go around. Um, but yeah, you can charge a mini turbo and then do a neutral hop and then a right hop and then another neutral hop to get onto the road. And if you keep your boost, then that is faster than um, going around normally. I'm going to go for it again in lap three here. Um, oops. Well, I think I can get that. I can get a super mini turbo here. We're going to go for it anyways. All right. Uh, yeah, that was decent. The Rossetti yeah. actually kind of helped there. Uh, because we were going a bit slow, Rossetti was popping down, but his, uh, his little mole hill was still there, so we were able to jump over. So that was good. Um, now we have Neo Bowser City. Uh, this track is a little tough. Uh, it has some wild tracks and traction stuff. We do a counter hop to adjust our alignment. Uh, there's a low glider at the end. Riley, do you want to explain this, the traction differences here? Yeah, so um, all all of the different tracks in uh, Mario Kart 8 have different like values, and this Neo Bowser City is pretty different in the fact that it has dry uh, dry street and wet street, and the fact that you have to go into these terrifying hairpin turns, which change from dry street to wet street, makes it incredibly like it, it's just it's it's anxiety waiting to happen like <laughs> really? absolutely this track is pretty tough i'd kind of like to be able to focus on these future hairpins uh nukes do you have some more donations to read i have a ton coming in i also want to say we're almost at fifty-eight thousand. oh my gosh so we're, we're getting wow. really close we got about uh 2200 left to go so chat please keep those in 
Uh, Amber, about how many tracks do we have left until the end of this uh, run? So this is the first track in Bell Cup, which is the last one. So this and then three more. All right, only three more tracks then chat after this. So we're, we don't have much time, so please keep those donations coming in. Come yeah, on, chat. any more donations do while I finish this track out and load into the next one. Yeah, we've got $25 from Corvame saying, Amber may not have won the tech check make me laugh challenge, but she's crushing these races. Let's see. More tracks, more tracks, more tracks, more tracks, more tracks. I should say, I practiced the DLC like 50 times more than I practiced this category. <laughs> so y'all better make that practice worth it. <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, Ribbon Road. This is the track not named Yoshi Circuit that I've played the most. Yoshi Circuit's the one I've played the most because of resets. This track has some really, really silly cycles, and uh, you're going to see some wild skips at the end as well. Uh, this shortcut here is incredibly difficult, and if we drift off of it, we can actually do this and jump over that ramp and get the second shortcut as well. It is nice. unreal. Incredibly oh, yeah, and I am going to shut up so that I can do it again in laps two and three. Uh, we've probably got time for some more donations. This is sort of a serious time, but it, we can talk over it and it'll be all right. Yeah, we've, we've hit 58k, so keep them coming in chat less than 2,000 to go, but only this and two more tracks, so keep it coming. We've got $5 from Owl saying, DLC, please. Love Amber Streams. Say hi to Blahas behind you for me. I also have, <laughs> I have $25 from Andy saying, Horns, let's go, Amber. Hi, Andy. We also have $20 from Snacks McGee saying, this is some incredible carding. What a run. Let's see that DLC, y'all. Thanks for all you, thanks for all that you do at GDQ. Keep up the good work and the great runs. All right, and I was even <laughs> able to get a trick there for the very last one. This, okay, this, this was okay. I made a couple mistakes throughout it, but that was a pretty decent ribbon road that I'm pretty happy with. I mean, you hit the hardest part three times, so. That's true, I did. Yeah. So yeah. next up is, <laughs> is pretty yeah, solid. next up is Superbell Subway. Uh, there are two different patterns on this track with the subway cars, and we're gonna see we, we got the bad pattern, and I'm able to tell because of where those subway cars are going as the track loads in. If the blue car is going with you, that's bad. If the red car is going with you, that is good. And you will see why the red car going against us is bad in lap two. This track is pretty annoying. I don't have a lot to say about it. The optimal ending for this track, it, if I narrated what I'm doing, it sounds like a Street Fighter combo. Thank you, Riley, for saying that in practice. Um, uh, I'm not doing the optimal thing. I'm just kind of doing something a little bit safer, but uh, that would be hop, hop, trick, hop, hop, trick, trick, SMT shortcut. It's dumb. Um, and that, that's the train that sucks. If that train was going with us, it wouldn't have been there, and we wouldn't have had to break around it. Um, I also, yeah. real quick, Amber, if you don't yeah. mind, uh, we just opened a bid war for the DLC tracks. We're about 1,500 away from meeting that. So not only can you donate to get those DLC tracks unlocked, but you can choose which character Amber will play as, whether it's oh, yeah, Roy, absolutely. Link, Pink, Gold, uh, Peach, Rosalina, or Waluigi. So get those in choose which character. A lot of great things here. Please don't pick Waluigi. Please do not pick Waluigi. <laughs> it, Waluigi has the same stats as Roy, but that lanky man screws me up so much. I I can't. Uh, I would prefer <laughs> Roy or Rosalina or Boot or, or, or Link or Pink Goldie. Anybody but Waluigi, please. That, uh, <laughs> that quote will stay with me for all time. <laughs> that lanky man screws me up so much. Uh, Okay. Speaking of those characters, is there a specific reason you choose those specific characters and we never uh, talked about the build. And the wheels? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we never talked about the build. Thank you so much, Slash Smiley. Um, so we're aiming for as much mini turbo stat as possible because mini turbo stat is a hidden stat that is absolutely busted. It lets us charge drifts faster, lets those drifts go for longer, and be a stronger boost. 
Um, we still need a lot of top speed, which is why we pick a heavyweight character, but we don't pick the most heavyweight character because we still need a little bit more mini turbo. Here's Big Blue. This skip is iconic. We're skipping about two thirds of the second section here. Not just that little thing, but also this much larger thing right here. And I did a little extra hop at the very beginning just for style points. <laughs> um, that skip is iconic. If you Incredible. haven't seen that before, well, now you've seen it before. If you have seen it before, I hope you were expecting it. Uh, I didn't disappoint. Uh, <laughs> now, yeah, here's the end of Big Blue. There is still one more tiny skip coming up, but I feel like uh, we can just read a few more donations. Honestly, uh, keep them coming, y'all. I really want to run these DLC tracks. Yeah, I, Amber, I. We have Waluigi in the lead right now, oh, but no. it's very close between Waluigi. No, Roy just jumped ahead, so Time. Chad, please keep Time. those. Oh, it's very close. Uh, we've got $58,755 raised. We need 60000 to unlock those DLC tracks and see maybe Roy, maybe Waluigi, maybe Link. I don't know. Keep those coming in. Let us know what Absolutely. character you want. <laughs> so uh, what was my time on the finish line? I am curious. Uh, we're coming up to it. Okay. Uh, uh, 28, 11 flat. 28, 11 flat, right on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my nice. personal best is a 27, 21. Uh, I did have a pretty awkward start, and I made a handful of mistakes throughout the run. Uh, that just kind of shows you how small mistakes can snowball into larger time losses, and doing tracks perfectly will save a ton of time. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to take just a second to stand up and like stretch a little bit before we get into the DLC tracks. Um, keep those donations coming in, y'all. I'm excited to see where the bid war ends up. If y'all make me play Waluigi, I will never forgive you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah, do it. We, Don't do please. it. We are right now less than a thousand dollars away, oh, chat. Wow. I chat. know we We've can do it. Right. Also, I will be, I'm gonna just stand up. I'm just gonna stand so up close. for like 30 seconds. Yeah, keep those coming in. Uh, we also have the bid war here for which character is really hot right now. Uh, right now we've got Pink Gold Peach now in the lead, uh, but Waluigi Ooh. still not trailing too far behind. Same with Roy. So chat, please, please keep them coming in. I definitely want to see these DLC tracks. Uh, we've got quite a lot of donations coming in as well. We've got five dollars from Na uh, Magnif Magnific Squat CG saying. <laughs> I wonder if you know how they live in Mario. If you've seen it, then you mean it. Then you know you've All got right. to go. Fast and furious. What? What did I come in on? Oh I just I walked in in the middle of that donation that's, message. What was that? We're having a good time. He's the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy We've also got uh, twenty-five dollars so from Vicarious Vice saying, "Leave no incentive unmet." Also, stay hydrated. Oh uh, yeah. We that, we've got we're up to fifty-nine thousand three hundred seventy dollars or seventy-five. Right as I read that, keep them coming in, chat. We are so so close, and we definitely want to see this. Also, Waluigi. Taking the lead here. No. <laughs> oh and no! I shouldn't have said that. Waluigi waits. <laughs> he is sitting patiently. <laughs> Just in the back. I'm... He's... <laughs> oh, I am charging my controller. We're yeah. good. Don't worry. Yeah. I, I know we had the low battery earlier. I, I know. <laughs> We've got We're taking $25 some time. from Zoea just saying, Lanky Man! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. Why did I do this? Why did I say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I regret saying anything. $25 oh, from Abby no. saying, Waluigi Heart. <laughs> and, and also $25 from Wilsta saying, Wah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fate tempted successfully. Uh, yeah, I think we've uh, tempted chat here to get those in. <laughs> Do you really uh, also, want this? Wow. We're at $59,590. That is When this is an option. <laughs> just $410, chat. It's called <laughs> Flame Fatales, oh not God. Flame Waluigi's. <laughs> flame Lanky uh, Man. Stop. <laughs> Embrace Waluigi. <laughs> It's the total just keeps ranking up here. Fifty. We're at six hundred fifty dollars. I'm uh, dying. Only. Uh, oh God, math. The math is really hard. Quickly, 
We got $350 left to go. Keep them coming, chat. Waluigi is in the lead, but Pink Gold Peach not far Ooh, behind. Yes, absolutely. Pink Flame Gold Peach is even toast. better. Pink Gold Peach. Catching up. Hot on Waluigi's tail. Oh, my gosh. I... $270. Let's go, chat. Oh We're so close. Come on, chat. One seventy. It's jumping up. Oh, no. We're so so close. We are so close. Yeah, we've got this. Let's go. One twenty. Let's go. Don't let's go. Me, please, please. I'm begging Chat, you. Chat. Let's go. <laughs> I want to see these new tracks. Ninety dollars. Come oh on, Chat. Yeah, let's. We're going. Yeah. And there it is. We got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Oh, it's still going. Chat, Let's give him a little bit of time. Give him a little incredible. bit of time because I give him a little bit of time to vote for anything other than <laughs> Waluigi. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to break it to you. Waluigi is like ahead by like a lot, isn't he? That Linky Man. It looks like it's that Aww. Linky Man right now. It's seven hundred seventy-five dollars for Waluigi. Oh no. <laughs> Waluigi, I, I, I want to repeat that Waluigi has the exact same stats as Roy, but I just play worse with him, and I can't explain why. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> um, no, no, I get that. Yeah, uh, there is something right. about Waluigi that just just makes it worse. <laughs> all right, chat, y'all asked for this, I suppose. <laughs> y'all brought Once this upon more yourselves. into the breach, old friends. Indeed we did. <laughs> Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> well, oh no. All right. Let's get into the DLC oh. waves. Um, so, fun fact I submitted this category before Wave 2 was available because I was. Uh, I had a firm belief that Wave 2 would release ahead of time. And it did release ahead of time. However, this these have been these tracks have been out for three weeks. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, the, the point is uh, that they are brand new. Strats are still being developed for these tracks, and uh, if you're watching this as a YouTube VOD in the future, these strats are probably not anywhere close to accurate to what you can be doing as fast as possible. However, they are somewhat consistent strats that have been developed, somewhat fast strats that have been developed, and it's, it's still going to be a really, really fun time. I'm still going to be going very fast. And like I mentioned during the earlier run, I've been practicing DLC waves about 50 times more than I've been practicing bonus tracks over the last several weeks. So, um, yeah. Uh, Y'all are in for a real treat. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, I suppose let's just get right into it. It's getting a bit late. Um, yeah. Sweet. Uh, so... Time starts when I hit go or hit OK here. Uh, in three, two, one, go. Uh, no holding down R or anything like that for this one. Um, so one thing to mention is that all of these tracks in, these, in this DLC are tracks that are available on Mario Kart Tour, the mobile game. I would not recommend playing that game as it has some pretty predatory monetization features. Uh, it is a gotcha game. Uh, however, being able to play these tracks on tour is, or on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, is pretty great. And as you can see, Waluigi already making me mess up. Um, so, this is Paris Promenade. It is a tour track uh, with a real life location. There you can see the Eiffel Tower. We skipped over the Arc de Triumph, and I'm not actually sure what that obelisk is. But hey, uh, I am not going to know the names of all of these monuments and things, but from what I understand, this is a fairly. Um, not accurate to like locations within Paris, but uh, somewhat accurate as far as like faithful representations of those things. So it's actually pretty pretty cool. I'm a big fan of it. Um, there are some tracks coming up that are a little less accurate, but that's okay. Uh, this category is a little bit wild. Um, it's worth mentioning the art style of these tracks is a little bit different because they are tour tracks with upscaled assets. And also, tour tracks have alternate paths, and we're going to be driving this track backwards for lap three, uh, including trying to not get hit by these computers, uh, and succeeding, luckily. Um, there's also one Let's glider go. vector here that I had mentioned previously, where we get this SMT and then hold to get that drift, and that is faster than tricking. It is pretty sick. Uh, and we're just going to do a UMT there and two mini turbos to end this track. That is Paris Promenade. Um, yeah, uh, the next track is Toad 
uh, Toad Circuit from the 3DS, I remember, if I remember correctly. I actually never played it Mario. from the 3DS. I never it played it. I never played Mario Kart 7. I actually only played Mario Kart DS in the multiplayer mode, so I don't have very good experience with those tracks either. Um, but whatever. I didn't get a full boost there, and now Ludwig is ahead of me and is going to steal some of my coins. So that sucks. Uh, only one, but then I missed the other one. Oh well. Um, this track is a total snooze fest. There's not really much to talk about here. If you want to read some more donations, Nukes, feel free. Perfect. We've got $10 from Clever Pigeon saying, Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep on killing it, Amber. And Roy's always my boy. We also have $25 from Jonathan saying, Amber, you're an amazing runner and an amazing friend. Thank you so much, John. And Pigeon. Both of y'all are lovely. Those are two of my mods. I um, also want to add $100 from Corundum Core saying, trans rights are human rights. Absolutely. And they always Heck will be. Yeah. Yes. So I true. Agree. So, uh, just to end this track off, we're going to be doing a Super Mini Turbo instead of an Ultra, which I did in 1 and 2. That's because the boost is going to go past the finish line, and after you cross the finish line, it's a set amount of time every time. Um, these tracks, the DLC tracks, are scaled a little differently than the main game tracks as well, and because of that, we're going to be doing a lot more neutral drifting, where I mentioned that way early at the start of bonus tracks, where we're not inputting uh, with the analog stick and it's a little bit faster than holding a direction for the turn. I'm just not getting the right boost uh, timing. Thank you, Waluigi. Uh, so here is uh, Chaco Mountain from the N64, except it's the Mario Kart Tour version and there's this cave section and it's very different. There are also some cycles here. Um, this boulder right here would give us a little bit of grief, but I had a slow start. And then in lap three, uh, the second boulder uh, drop site, I don't know what you would want to call it, uh, can also be a bit tricky. However, we're going a, a little bit slower on this track, um, mostly because of the bad start, so it hopefully won't be a problem. These boulders shouldn't give me a problem, although they do lead to some pretty great clips if we do end up getting squished, uh, but it seems like we're going to be okay. Uh, this track is pretty tough. Um, I don't want to humble brag or anything, but I was, I believe, the third person in the world to get a 123 on this track without using shrooms. I might have been the fourth, could be wrong. Uh, this track was my very first big grind uh, of, of Wave 1, and I don't love this track, but it's pretty alright. Honestly, it's, it's a fairly fun track to drive. Um, there are some other strats that have been developed, like squeezing two SMTs right there instead of an, an MT and an SMT. Um, but yeah, that is Chaco Mountain. And up next is Coconut Mall. Uh, if you know Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii, this is going to be pretty similar, but it's kind of like an uh, it's kind of like an Uncanny Valley. Uh, this track is it plays a fair bit differently. Um, and one thing to note on Coconut Mall is that. This track and a lot of other tracks in the DLC have what we start call, have what we've start call it, started to call um, gravity wells. Uh, basically, there are there are sections of this track that have stronger gravity than the rest of the track. A big example is this fountain. You see that I slam on the ground pretty quickly versus if I hit this trick and the trick after it, this right here, it's a little bit floatier. Um, there are a lot of examples of that. Uh, also, the cars are different there, and those are very frustrating and also terrifying. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different areas where you're gonna see that I kind of land really early versus oh no, versus some other no. sections. Um, the gravity wells on these tracks are all over the place. They are difficult to learn, but once you learn them, they're not too bad. They're just kind of... Uh, they, they're more of that sort of flow state type of type stuff where once you just kind of, once you learn them, then you just kind of know them. Um, this track has escalators that change speeds as well, or change being faster on one side or the other, and the timings for them in Versus Race, which is what we do runs in, is different than in Time Trials, which makes practicing this track a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, uh, this track's really tough, and I managed to navigate it pretty okay. Not as fast as it could have been, but yeah, that's Coconut Mall. Um, it's a pretty tough track, 
uh, the gravity is a thing. This is probably the track where it's the most noticeable. Uh, it's also going to be noticeable on uh, this track. Honestly, it'll be noticeable on this track right after a specific skip. <clears throat> Um, it's going to be noticeable in a lot of different places, honestly. Uh, I'm not going to really highlight it every single time. Tokyo Blur here, I genuinely don't know any of these monuments or anything like that. Um, one thing to note is this track and the other tracks that change laps. Um, this track has three different laps, not just two. Paris Promenade, we did the same thing in laps one and two. Um, Tokyo Blur, New York Minute, and Sydney Sprint all have three different uh, routes that you'll take, um, one for each lap. Um, Tokyo Blur, this is probably my favorite track of Wave 1, um, but I'm not terribly good at driving it, admittedly. Um, yeah, this track is a little all over the place. This lap 3 has a couple different methods that you can take around it. I like doing two SMTs here, and then an SMT here as well counter hop and mini turbo and then we're gonna get a UMT and another mini turbo here. Technically you can do a glider vector for Tokyo Blur as well but it's a lot tighter and I'm not very good at it and I didn't feel comfortable going for it in practice. I don't really feel comfortable going for it in a run especially with Waluigi. Yeah. Um, now we have the first serious time of DLC tracks. This is Shroom Ridge. This is my nightmare especially with Waluigi. Uh, definitely serious time. I am going to need to focus. This track is insane. It does have one pattern. The cars are always the same every time, which is the one saving grace for this track. Um, but yeah, it is a toughie. So I'm going to try to focus. Um, I suppose if I do make any mistakes, we could probably go into reading donations because if you make one mistake, you're gonna make a few. Uh, I need to do a counter hop there. I got it. A lot of brake drifting around all of those turns. That was actually a really good lap one. Um, I'm doing a neutral drift for the most part around that turn, sometimes tapping in a little bit. Trying to do a brake drift without hitting the wall, but hitting the wall, it's fine. Uh, getting these three coins. Mini turbo. There's a few different methods for this section. I like just doing a bunch of mini turbos, holding this one a little extra and doing a... Oh no. Well, wow. uh, well, for this last section and a half, uh, we can definitely go back into reading some more donations. Uh, making one mistake kind of throws you off for the rest of it, so I'm gonna just kind of sight read. Awesome. We have $20 from Matt K saying, always love hearing Riley on commentary. Also have $10 <laughs> from Neon saying, Amber, you're awesome. Thanks, Flame Fatales, for all these fabulous speedruns and for donating to Malala Fun. I also have $50 from Snatchy Snatch saying, Mala Luigi. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of law donations I have here right now is incredible, oh, but no. that one, I... that one in honor of Malala Fun, I had to read. Uh, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> incredible. You'll love to see it. Uh, okay, so here we have Sky Garden. This track has a uh, bit of tech that is more in Nitro and Retro tracks, which are the other categories that we're not running today. Uh, a tech called Super Bouncing. Um, you'll see some Super Bounces later in this run, and we'll explain them then. The important thing to know about them right now is that I'm not doing them. Uh, that little skip there is a pretty cool skip that I feel like I'm better at than I should be. A lot of people talk about having trouble with that skip. I've never had trouble with that skip. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess I'm just that good. <laughs> um, I, that's, I, I was trying to be funny and failing. Um, no, so I'm going to hit this little bump here, and that little bump is going to actually turn me a little bit more, um, even though I'm moving in a straight line. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more noticeable here if I can get a little more air time with it in lap three. Um, this, uh, this skip is fairly angle dependent. It is faster the more you have turned. However, you really only have a straight line to turn, so we use this bump to turn us a little extra. Um, and hopefully I made it a little more noticeable in that lap three. Um, Sky Garden is a Game Boy track from Mario Kart Super Circuit, which was the Mario Kart that I played the most growing up. Um, and yeah, uh, next up we have 
Waluigi, or not Waluigi Pinball, that's later. Uh, we have uh, Ninja Hideaway. Uh, this track is not labeled as a tour track, but it is a tour track. It's been in Mario Kart Tour for a while now. Um, I have a tinfoil hat theory that Nintendo forgot to tag it as tour track, and now they are kind of not labeling any of the not city tracks as tour tracks. But uh, here's a skip uh, where we smash our head into the wall and then uh, skip over that little cardboard cutout piranha plant. That cardboard cutout piranha plant will cause us to do a little spin out if we're going too fast, but we throw ourselves into the wall in order to slow ourselves down and use our sideways momentum to carry us into the cutout. Um, it is not faster in lap two because this, uh, excuse me, because this upstairs path is available. If I have any mistakes in this lap, I am going to do the cutout skip again in lap three uh, because the timing for going upstairs in lap three is pretty tight. Uh, but honestly, I'm kind of hoping that I play it well. Oh no! Well, all right. <laughs> That's the backup strat is hitting that little tuft of air. And then, yeah, so this skip is iconic. I already did it in one lap. I didn't mention anything. That skip was discovered uh, before the Wave 1 DLC was even available. Oh, I just didn't. Well. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, never, never seen that before. Oh, God. Um, well. Uh oh. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not. And we're, we're just going to ignore what just happened there. You saw nothing. Um, <laughs> didn't see what? Exactly. Uh, yeah, so, wh oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. Uh, what is this track is true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a track that exists. Um, so that's yeah. it, that big one at the end was discovered before the DLC was available in the States. Wave 1 was released in Japan several hours early, and this skip was discovered, I think, by an American runner... Uh, who was playing online because uh, folks in Japan who had the DLC could select them online. So I, I think I'm right. Uh, shout outs to Awoken, or at least that's yes, the person who. Did, did she discover it? Or I, she either I discovered it, it or she was, was the person who posted it on Twitter. At one the very least, she was the one who documented it first. For sure. So here is uh, Wave 2. We have New York Minute here. This track is pretty fun. Um, this drift right here is wild, and I'm gonna try my best to not hit anything. Aw, well, whatever. That, that skip is, or that, it's not a skip, it's just a really tight drift that looks really cool, and I'm not gonna be going for that section again. This is a sorry excuse for Central Park, um, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is New York in, like, a suggestion, I guess. Uh, there's another, <laughs> oh no, uh, well, Oops. whatever. Uh, this track is very precise. That's kind of a trend with uh, all of these DLC tracks, is that they are incredibly precise. And then here's a little shortcut, uh, where we do a little extra hop there. It's not faster in lap one because of the path we need to take afterwards, but it is faster in section three here. And then we're going to start a drift over a ramp and get over here, and that is New York Minute. Um, New York Minute was done with time trials in under a minute on day one or day two. It doesn't seem like maybe there will be a sub minute without shrooms at some point. I'm pretty sure there isn't one yet, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't believe there is yet. Yeah, you never know though. This is one of my favorites in Wave 2, Mario Circuit 3 from the Super Nintendo. This track is incredibly satisfying. Um, that's really the one word that I would use to describe this track is satisfying. When you get everything to line up right, the flow state is just so good. Wow, I actually... Thank you, Waluigi. You didn't mess me up that time. Um, that little shortcut sucks. We do a little counter hop there to line ourselves up for the mini turbo and super mini turbo right here. Get that coin and that boost. And yeah, I'm going to be doing the same thing in laps two and three. Uh, Nuclear, if you have any more donations to read, so much love coming great. in for you, Amber. Uh, we got $50 from Shoujo saying, good luck, Amber. You're awesome. Thanks to GDQ for putting on this wonderful event. We also have $10 from Pariah1165 saying, first time catching Flame Fatales and had to jump in for the always entertaining Amber CXC. And Mario Kart speedruns are unappreciated gems. And these, yeah, this is quite a gem. I couldn't agree more. Oh my more. gosh, I got the skip three for three. That Come skip on, is incredibly inconsistent. I, I have, 
it's it's a it's a coin flip if I actually can get that three for three. So Waluigi didn't mess us up that time. Has messed up quite a bit of the rest of the run, but hey, that one that one was all right. Uh, next up, we have Calamari Desert. That was mentioned in a donation earlier about the uh, shortcut uh, with through the trains. Uh, they really did a number to this track. Uh, as you can see from the map on the right side, things look a little weird, and they're only gonna get weirder in section two. You will see. Uh, so because I got a slow uh, start, I was able to get a slipstream off of a computer. That rarely happens. Um, this turn here is miserable. Uh, I'm just gonna release a mini turbo and go really wide because if I hit the off-road it will destroy my drift. Super mini turbo and trick. Mini turbo and mini turbo again. So here is section two and this is what I mean by uh, they kept the shortcut in. Um, in a way. As you can see there's now a ramp here. I don't know when this ramp shows up in the track but it does. I'm gonna break drift around this to not hit the track. Oh, oh gosh, that, that train is miserable. Um, I'm sorry to any N64 fans, this is my least favorite track of the wave. Uh, but you get a lap when you cross into the tunnel here, and that is an intended path. Uh, that, yeah, this, this track, if you mess up and hit the train, it really can screw you up. And I'm not gonna get second place, because my build is just better. Um, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to is, ask is, real the, quick, is there any use for braking in the run? Oh yeah, we're braking all the time. Um, so brake drifting is when you are holding a drift and holding accelerate and R, and then also tapping B with the side of your thumb. That helps you, you brake a little bit to turn tight and uh, still preserve your drift. Flashing lights warning uh, for the start of each lap here. This cannon is a little miserable. Uh, it gives me a headache, so yeah. Um, but this is Waluigi Pinball playing as Waluigi. This is the longest track in the game. Uh, even on 200cc, it almost ends up being two minutes long. I believe the record without mushrooms is a 149 or a 148, maybe? Uh, it's a uh, 149. 149, thank you. Uh, my personal best is, uh, is a high 150 or a low 151, if I remember correctly. Um, and these marbles are on a set cycle. They are the same every single time. We got very lucky there. That was oh. um, I, <laughs> had a, I, had, I had a pretty slow start here, so we're going to be in improvising sight read mode. We're not going to be going with the absolute fastest cycles here. I'm just going to be trying my best. Um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to ask my co-commentators, what are y'all's favorite tracks of the DLC so far? Uh, let's just go top to bottom. Uh, Fabi, then Riley, then Star Oh, Riley. that's such a good question. I have so many. Um, honestly, and you're probably going to hate me for this, uh, my favorite is Shroom Ridge. Um, I do hate you for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, that doesn't surprise me. Um, for anyone, anybody who knows me and like the sort of tracks I like in Mario Kart, I love tracks that have cars in them. Um, why? I don't know why. Like my favorite car, my, my favorite track in Mario Kart Wii is Move Do Highway. Um, and I know okay, that's, that's the hot That track take. is gorgeous, though. Yeah, no, mm. that track is beautiful, and also it's just really fun to drive. And I feel the same way for Shroom Ridge. I like how difficult it is because it's just one of those tracks where if you mess up yeah. once, your cycle is messed up. It's yeah. it's a really really tight cycle to get optimally. Um, yeah. And it took me ages to sort of learn the faster strats uh, for the section outside uh, of the tunnel. Uh, ah, yeah, that's unfortunate. That's, this this track is tough, y'all. Uh, yeah. um, Riley, what's your favorite? Uh, I definitely gotta say uh, that it's uh, Sydney Spring. Ooh, Sydney Spring hey, is just that's coming up right now. Yeah, it's so pretty, and all the all the different tricks you can do for 150 cc and 200 cc it's just it is so dense i really like it and it's very difficult uh i want to say this is probably the my second favorite track of this wave um and probably the track of this wave that i'm the best at uh we do a little oh no oh, oh no oh no waluigi Unfortunate. i'm blaming waluigi for that and not myself yep. Um, do a neutral drift around this. Uh, this track is a spectacle. This is actually probably the most accurate tour track from what I understand. I've never been to Sydney, but uh, from a few people who live in the area, they've said that this track is a lot more accurate than some of the others. Oh no, I'm drifting the wrong way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Nice save. We got that. We got that. Good. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, but we we missed one co-commentator. Star Smiley. What is your favorite track of this uh, DLC so far? Mine's actually Wobbly G Pinball. I really like all the colors and the cinema theme, and I'm slightly biased because I love the DS version. That's fair. That's fair. fair. It's a really fun track. This it's a bit of tech right here is wild. Oh. oh. Really? oh. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Um, if we have a little... No, never mind. Uh, I, that, that skip is really tough where we do a trick and then don't trick and then start a drift and then release the drift and double trick across that ramp. I know I said a lot of words, but uh, just, that's, that's what you do. Uh, we're, you're supposed to do something similar here, but I can't get that drift for the life of me, so I'm just going to get four tricks there. Um, and then we're going to neutral and hold right a little bit for that turn. Trick here, get on the ground, start a drift to do that trick, and then actually start a drift for real to get that mini turbo and end Sydney Sprint. That was a bit of a mess, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, after this we have Snowland. This track, if you, meant, if you remember Animal Crossing, I said winter is seven seconds slower because of ice traction. This whole track is ice, and it's very, very tough. Uh, now is probably a good time for some more donations while I focus. Perfect. We've uh, got yeah. uh, $5 from Big People School just saying, Lanky Man Hype! Also have $25 from Crumb Dog saying, Love watching Mario Kart speedruns. They blow both mine and my wife's mind, despite all the hours we put into it. Also have fifty dollars from Anonymous saying cheers and thanks, Amber. Thank also, you. Also, uh, one hundred fifty dollars from Totally Mike saying first time donation. I just want to say this event is fire, and this Amber is crushing this run. Thanks for the memories. Also, really quick, want to just announce that we've had a few more uh, donation incentives uh, open up, including Save Marin for tomorrow's Link's Awakening run. And uh, we're also really close to meeting that Love 3 100% run upgrade. So keep those donations. Make sure you're putting them towards incentive. There's a lot of great ones, chat. Well, we have to save Marin. Of course we do. Yeah. We love Marin here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Link's Awakening. Uh, anyways, we're ending Snowland here, and we are going into Mushroom Gorge. I'm going to ask, hey, Fabi, can you explain Super Bounces, which I mentioned earlier, because this is the track with Super Bounces in them. I would love to. Super Bounces are my favorite trick in the game. So, uh, this is how Super Bounces work. When you charge a mini turbo over a mushroom, of which this track has a lot of them, uh, and you release the mini turbo just before you check off that mushroom. Uh, check off that mushroom. Uh, you get launched forward and you gain a bunch of speed. It saves a buttload of time every time you do it. Amber's gonna go for one right here. Uh, and she's gonna go for two. Oh, serious time uh, for. Oh no. Uh, well, that's fine. We're gonna do one here where I bounce off of one and then release the mini turbo. That was a bit sloppy. This track is absurdly hard, and I'm gonna actually just call for serious time for the rest of this track because I need to focus. Um, this track is very, very tough. Oh, okay. I didn't get the mini turbo that time. Uh, I'm gonna get SMT counter hop and get this. Didn't get the mini turbo, but that's okay. Double trick, start the drift, release the drift, and bounce. Okay, that was good. That one was that one was okay. Uh, haven't had the double super bounce yet. Hopefully, I can get it in lap three. It's not faster to do one right here. It's faster to just bounce and charge a super mini turbo there. Get oh well, that's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I just gotta focus for this last one. Sure. Trick, trick, drift, bounce. Okay. You know what? That was okay. It wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it was definitely all right. That track's yeah. very, very, very tough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And here is the last track of DLC Waves. This is Sky High Sunday. They labeled this a brand new track, but this track came out to Mario Kart Tour the day after it was released for Mario Kart 8, and it looks exactly the same. This is upscaled assets of the tour version. This is also a tour track, just like Ninja Hideaway. 
fight me on this. I totally messed it up. This is, however, an F-Zero track. It takes place in space because uh, we have anti-grav on the entire time and we also have reduced gravity, which is going to play into a skip at the end here. Um, time is going to be when I cross the finish line in lap three, and I think we can just read donations until that point if we have a few more to go through. Yeah, this is that skip, by the way. We've got two hundred fifty dollars from Maddie Thorson saying, "Oh my gosh! Wow, wow. Luigi!" <laughs> Hi, Maddie. Celeste is too hard for me. <laughs> Iconic response. <laughs> also, uh, twenty-five dollars from Eater of Fromage saying, "I missed you, Mario Kart." Even if you sometimes leave the cap off the toothpaste. Oh my god. <laughs> A good reference. Good callback to the copy pasta. Eater of Fromage is my new favorite username. <laughs> it's it's definitely up there. It's good. Yeah. Um yeah, uh, we're going into lap we're ending lap three here. I missed one of those boosts, but that's alright. Uh, and yeah, this skip here, I believe I discovered it. Um I could be wrong though. Uh, it is... Oh, no! Oh. Uh, well, that's an unfortunate way to end it, but time is on the finish line here. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This was really an honor to run, even if it didn't look perfect the entire time. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Um, everybody, please go and follow all of my co-commentators. Uh, Fabi is at It's with a Z, I-T-Z, Fabi. Uh, Riley is at It's with an S, I-T-S, Riley, P-M. Star Smiley is Star Smiley. Uh, um, and I believe that's for Twitch and Twitter for all y'all, but I could be wrong. I think there's an underscore at the end of Fabi's on Twitter. There is um, an you can, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Amber underscore CXC or the short link horns.gay. Uh, Shoutouts to the Mario Kart 8 speedrunning Discord. You can find it at speedrunner.com slash mk8dx. There's a link to it there. Shoutouts to Pianist15. I hope you enjoy your retirement. Uh, Vike MK for tech support and being our uh, load remover aficionado. He invented our auto splitter and a lot of really cool frame checking technology. Shoutouts to my co commentators again. Shoutouts to my family. Shoutouts to everyone who's donated to my bottom surgery recovery fund. Uh, Shoutouts to my best friend, Antarctica, Andy. You're amazing. Uh, Shoutouts to all QA testers and game developers fighting for unionization right now. It's super important. Shoutouts to your local DIY music scene. Yes, yours. Trans rights forever. Black Lives Matter. Have a great night, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much, Amber. And thank you, chat, for all get getting together and raising enough money that we could see those DLC tracks. What a treat. Uh, what a great lanky man Waluigi is. Uh, absolutely fantastic. All going towards a fantastic cause. We're up to $61,000 raised, by the way, here at the end of the night here. Uh, also, a lot of great incentives that have been open. It's fantastic. Uh, I just want to read a couple more donations here before we end the night here. We have a lot of Waluigi lo uh, donations that I didn't get to read. $25 from Rats Nostris saying, Waluigi. Also $5 from Fernando saying, Flame Waluigi Fatales. Wow. $50 from Zabogo Fan Club saying, Wow. Another $25 from Pete saying, Wow. Um, also 50 or <clears throat> sorry, $25 from Kurt Mack saying, great job executing on this incredible run. Or sorry, the game was being so mean. I don't know which. I'm catching up on YouTube and not watching the live stream right now. Hope I'll catch up on this run later this week. And that's a great reminder that all the runs will be up on YouTube. So make sure to check out what you missed on there. Uh, but that being said, I want to thank y'all for watching here tonight and supporting. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific with an interview. Um, also, a lot of great runs coming up tomorrow, including we have that Contra 3 run kicking us off uh, with that incentive that was already met. Um, we've also got Love 3 tomorrow. Uh, 
with some great incentives. The Last Guardian with that Activate Pet Cam. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and also ending up will be Elden Ring at the end of the night if we meet the bonus game incentive. So lots and lots of great runs tomorrow. Please come check it out. Uh, and also make sure stay tuned. Viewers will be raiding a channel after this. So please stick around and let's hype up whoever we are raiding. Everyone have a great night and we'll see y'all tomorrow.